Now an all digital workflow can make some people jumpy and they have every reason to be if they're not in the right gear. Hi, Dave here for the Stardom ST8. For producer, director, editor, or as they call it, predator types like myself, uh, DTE or direct to edit is becoming viable. This is whereby we go what's known as tapeless, but we take it a step further than cards or portable you know, media storage in the field. We're taking an SDI run directly from uh, studio cameras directly to Final Cut where we have a digital information tech log, capture, and otherwise supervise sort of the uh, ingestion of all of the digital media that we've shot during the day. So it's really important that we have a rate that's fast enough, reliable enough, and can sort of handle the rigors of road life. So as a producer, what I love about units like this and this workflow is that I don't have to pay for stock, I don't have to pay for transfer, and uh, in most cases I don't have to pay to have my footage logged because it's being done so on the set. As a director, having access to full raster, full color, full performance playback is something that I, I can't live without any longer. As an editor, what we all want is a machine that'll just sort of get out of the way. So what makes my relationship with the brains behind the Stardom ST8 so valuable for filmmakers like yourselves is the fact that when I get off the road, I can tell them what I liked, what I didn't like, and what I wish we could see more of. And so in the case of the Stardom ST8, I'm looking for active LED indicators on the front of the unit. It's always reassuring to be able to just look down at my left foot and see blinking lights when I'm in the middle of a copy or transfer of the drives being used. Well, you can bet that this is a rock-solid performer because I just bet my entire career on it. The Stardom ST8.